fall 2023 trends and how to style them. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura, and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. Though we have many more weeks of summer, fall will be here before you know it. And you really should be preparing your fall wardrobe. You shouldn't really, really be shopping for summer anymore unless it's like a very, very, very good sale. So there is always a disclaimer. I didn't make these fall trends up. I, <laughs> I am just reporting them back to you and showing you how to style them. I will say that that quiet luxury trend is all up and through these fall and autumn trends. So if you hate that whole idea, you might not be in love with a lot of these trends. actually going to go through some trends and some micro trends. We're not doing all of them. I don't have enough time in this video. I am contemplating doing a follow-up video, but we shall see. The first trend is relaxed, wearable, a grocery store kind of run or bodega run, wherever you're from. It's just very sporty and laid back. So you might have seen this picture referenced by other people. This was on the runway at Miu Miu and it is just so simple extremely laid back and best of all you probably have all of these things in your closet i don't really feel like this is extra revolutionary but this is what we're going for this fall well one of the things we're going for this fall though this is a very simple look that you probably have already in your closet there's still a chicness to it and i've said many times before that though i believe that fashion could come in very many colors there's a very specific chicness to simplicity and i believe it this is what this outfit is giving. On top of that, the layers really give this outfit some depth, in my opinion. She really could have just worn the coat and the turtleneck, but by putting that hoodie in the middle, it deepens it and it gives it more of a look, <laughs> a look, if you will. I also want to draw your attention to the lack of accessories. She does have on some big statement earrings. That really seems to be it, which is a hard hill for me to swallow because as you see, <laughs> I love some accessories, but the pared down accessories for this look does really give it a simple chicness. The New Yorker in me kind of would like to add a hat, um, especially for those days when my hair is not it. But this is probably a look that you've already worn and a look that I would probably wear to run to the store. So to create this look, it's super easy and you probably don't have to buy anything else. But if you are using your debt, I feel like the details or the major detail of this outfit that you absolutely need is a hoodie. Any hoodie would do, but if you don't have one or you're in need of a new one, they are everywhere. Any place sporty, maybe like Lululemon, um, even Uniqlo, I see, I'm sure they have one at um, Allo Yoga. They probably have one at Target. Any hoodie that gives you that vibe, specifically a zip up hoodie. I like the idea of using this cost turtleneck as opposed to um, a gray turtleneck just to give it a little more depth. But if you rather have a gray turtleneck, Evolve, Everlane, and Madewell have you covered. And though they used gray tights like these from Lululemon or Aritzia, I'm probably more likely to wear black tights because my thighs, okay? <laughs> Anything to slim them out just a little bit, but any color, any neutral color would do. The other part of this outfit that I think is a big detail is the camel coat. And now I don't feel it has to be this color, but I do feel like it has to be this type of shape and perhaps wool. I do not, believe it or not, have a wool camel coat, which is bananas. <laughs> so I'm definitely getting one this year. This one from Totem is expensive, but on a major sale. This one from ASOS via and other stories is a very interesting shape. And this one from Aritzia is slightly darker, but equally as beautiful. 
And then she has on a messenger bag, but it obviously doesn't have to be a messenger bag. It could be a crossbody bag, whatever your bag choice is. But if you do want a messenger bag, this one from ASOS via Friend Connection is a good option. Now the shoe choice is very interesting to me. They chose to put her in a pair of loafers and I feel like the hard bottom and this really relaxed look could be difficult to pull off in you know normal life but if you do like the look i feel like these from madewell that have a chunkier sole can give it more of a sporty like laid back vibe or if you just prefer to wear sneakers with this look these from nike that are similar brown color would do the trick So as we lean more into this pared down kind of tailored look, business core business. is going to be a really big thing. This Saint Laurent look is giving me very much 80s with the big shoulders and the small waist, but the pinstripes is giving very much business. It's really being assumed that this trend is coming back because people unfortunately are back in the office They're looking for attire that is more professional. I don't know how much that is going to lean over into, into our more casual lives, we shall see, but it's definitely a big deal for 2023, fall 2023. The shirt and tie combo for women is also a really big thing. It was on Dior, Valentino, and Alexander McQueen. I don't know how comfortable you are wearing a tie and shirt combo to the office, but if you are, it is definitely on trend. I think my favorite part about this trend is the clean lines. If you've been following me for a long time, you know I love a blazer. I talk about loving clean lines oh so often. This YSL look is just, I know it's over the top for some, but I think it's almost perfection. I love the 80s um, when it comes to this. The colorful neon 80s, not so much, but this, the minimalism of the 90s and this kind of structure of the 80s is like what I love. If you also notice in this picture, again, there's not a whole bunch of accessories. She has a pair of cool sunglasses on, a pair of light hoop earrings, and a statement cuff. Now, while I do understand it might be a little difficult to wear such broad shoulders from day to day, we already know if you've been following me to use your debt. There are many other suits and clean lines that you can use without such big shoulders. However, a cute little shoulder pad to give you a little more va va boom can be cute. I'm also noticing, and I've said this before, that the really extremely oversized blazer, if you have one, you know the Frankie Shop one, I have it too. If you have that please continue to wear it if you love it but I've said before that I've noticed I've noticed that the waist are getting smaller the waist are getting smaller and the shoulders are getting bigger so hourglass shapes are very very big and this hourglass blazer from the Franga shop that is always sold out is a very good option to play with this trend this one from Totem, which does cost a bit of money, but is gorgeous. This one from ALC, that is on sale. This one from Naked Fashion, that is like $34. Any price that you want to pay for this style, there is a blazer to match. And if we're talking about pinstripe, this one from Banana Republic doesn't give you a really big shoulders, as I'm, I'm assuming that most people are not going to want to play with that, but it still gives you a very... 80s very clean vibe imagine this with like a clutch some aviators and a simple pair of earrings you have this very similar look but if you want that pinstripe look but a more laid back kind of updated version this one from the frankie shop will do that exactly two different styles both pinstripes both very much on trend As we get deeper and deeper to these fall trends, you see a pattern. Everything is very simple. Everything is very clean lines. Everything is very clean cut, right? So with that being said, black long wool coats were seen everywhere on the runway. Now, while that seems very simple, and it honestly is, it's kind of the same thing they did with the summer and the white tank top, how that was on trend, even though it's a staple, this is the same type of thing. And it's funny because not only do, do I not have a camel wool coat, I don't have a black wool coat. <laughs> 
so I'm looking for both this season. I have been so extra with my outerwear for the last few seasons. It's funny because my style has evolved and changed and I'm looking for something different. But anyway, I don't have a black wool coat. So these wool coats and like everything else are tailored. Everything is very clean lines and very tailored. This one from Alaya, this one from Victoria Beckham, this from Dulce & Gabbana that has a cistern waist, like I was saying. This from Prada and this from Kate. All have very similar vibes, but all differ just a bit. So if you don't have a black wool long coat or you want to change um, the shape because shapes do change of the wool coat that you do have, this one from Totem is so expensive, but is on such a good deal. This one from Mango was very affordable. This one from ASOS Via and Other Stories looks like it could be interesting. A long black wool coat is again at any price point, depending on what you want and how you want it to be shaped. So this one is a, like a micro trend. <laughs> I should have mentioned it when I was talking about suits. Like I talked about in my spring summer trend video, and I was saying that a lot of basics are going to be on trend, just like the tank top. Now it's the regular button down white shirt. If you haven't seen my video about how to style a white button down shirt several ways, you should totally go check it out and kind of see different ways to play with this trend. But I use the word trend so loosely because it's really just a classic piece that everyone should have in their closet. And the way it was described was very interesting. Vogue described it as going from the back of your wardrobe to now the forefront. So instead of it being a shirt or a piece of clothing in your wardrobe that binds everything together, it's more of the main character. And it could vary for many things. It doesn't have to be a plain white shirt. It could be pinstripe. Pinstripes are very much everywhere. It could be silk. It could be satin. It could have a certain like really interesting shape, right? It's again our staples, but we're going to play more with them this year than we did in prior years. And they're going to be more of the outfit than the part of the outfit, if that makes sense. I think a good example of using a white collar shirt um, in a different way is this shirt from Everlane. It's a white collar shirt. They put a little tie around it and it becomes more of the forefront. She could put a little jewelry on this. She could wear it with some cute jeans and that's the outfit. This one from the Franken shop is another great example. It has big shoulder pads. It cinches in in the middle. It's a white button down shirt, but it's so far away from basic. And of course you can wear your classic, button down like this one from Everlane or also this one from Lily Silk if that's your style. So the next thing or the next trend we're going to talk about and I'm sure you are noticing this is 2010s style. The 2010s is where I really remember like the blog starting, right? And everyone starting to really take pictures of their outfits. And when I think of this era, I think skinny jeans, I think big, <laughs> I think really big blanket scarves, but it's not exactly that. So we're not going to skinny jeans yet, though it was on the runway. We're not all the way there yet. So hold tight or wear them if you love them, right? But we are definitely taking certain things from the 2010s. Ballerina flats. So it's funny to say that I'm taking that from the 2010s because it's been around before the 2010s, but it was very big. So now you see that everyone's going for the Chanel flats. I'm not going to lie. I was looking at them too. If you watch this vlog, you saw me looking at them, but the ballerina flats are a big thing. So we're not quite styling them the way we did in the 2010s. The 2010s, it would be a pair of skinny jeans, some ballet flats, and like an oversized sweater or something. Instead, picture it with a pair of trousers or with a long slip dress or with some wide leg jeans. It's a mix of 2023, right? With some things that we're pulling from there. Now, if you are thinking about the ballerina flats and the Chanel flats are just too much for you, I understand because they are not cheap. You can go very inexpensive like ASOS or Mango, 
or you can go to Tory Burch. Tory Burch has updated their classic Tory Burch flat. Now you guys remember these flats and everyone was wearing these ballerina flats. They still have those, but they have updated them with a much smaller Tory Burch symbol, which really plays into that quiet luxury trend, right? So of course you can still get these, but if you want to kind of bring it all the way to 2023, look at these that are very much screaming Chanel. They also have them in silver and black, and then they have them in black on black. The black on black, in my opinion, is very unassuming, very, very 2023, right? But get whatever you love. And then as far as flats are concerned, you can also go with a pointy toe flat. I think these from Tory Burch are a great option. I love this color. I've showed you the ones in black and white before, and they're just fabulous in my opinion. Wouldn't you know it, going with that 2010s vibe, the big blanket scarf is back. I had so many scarves back then that I would wrap around my neck and feel really nice and cozy that I would wear with my skinny jeans and my rider boots, or if it was raining, my hunter boots. <laughs> we are doing these scarves again, but do not think of the way we were doing it in 2010, in the 2010s. Right? Not so much doing skinny jeans, you're doing a trouser, you're doing um, a nice blazer that's cinched in at the waist, right? It's a little more tailored, it's more straight lines, it's definitely more elevated. And if you haven't thrown away your big scarves from the 2010s, <laughs> or if you have, these are some good options. This one from Naked, and this one from Another Stories, and this one also from Aritzia will give you a great vibe and just luxurious and warm. And honestly, I can't wait to wear this. Everything I mentioned so far seems a little basic and can be seen as boring <laughs> to a lot of folks. And I completely get it because if you know me, you know that I love a little sparkle, right? I've said before that my outfits or my style is pretty streamlined, but when it comes to extraness, a little sparkle is what I always want. So thank the Lord, thank the good Lord, that red and metallics are going to be on trend. So Valentino, the people that brought us pink and this Barbie pink that everyone was wearing for so long, has now brought us red. Red, this coat particularly, is just the color, that saturation um, that we are looking for this fall. And while I know some people hate red, I love it. I have a beautiful pair of red Paris, Texas boots that go perfectly my bad Sir Gabrielle clutch that I'm excited to rock again. Showed you these flats from Tory Burch that would actually match my bag. I might get those. That would actually match my bag. That is a perfect color. And these coats from Mango and Naked are just a beautiful color and a good way to add a little bit of pop to your outerwear. And if you're not a huge red fan, but you do want to participate in the trend, a bag, I always say this, a bag is a good way to do so. This bag from Aspinall of London is very cute, very rich. Of course, this Gucci bag is just classic and a great way to go and really falls into this kind of clean cut tailored type of trend. I've spoken about this Ferragamo one, beautiful. And even this one from Rebecca Minkoff, will give you a similar vibe. If you hate red and you just want just a little bit of the color. And metallics, thank goodness for metallics, okay? That's giving me a little bit of sparkles that I need, the little bit of zhuzh that I need in <laughs> my fall wardrobe. You have seen, and I've showed you this purse from Jacquemus, and it is beautiful and unfortunately sold out because I was this close. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am on the waiting list and I am not telling you that I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> I know it's not the best choice, but I keep looking at it and I keep looking at it. I'm on the wait list, so we shall see what happens, but it's stunning. So I'm just glad that metallic is still in and gives the rest of these browns and navy blues and blacks a little bit of zhuzh. I've showed you a while ago this name brand and this bag before in the metallic is just chef's kiss. It is so pretty. This bag from J. Crew, this metallic bag, is a fantastic dupe to the Celine metallic silver bag. I recently saw Jenna Lyons in that bag and I could not find it anywhere. You know, if Jenna's wearing it, you know, Jenna Lyons is like fashion it, right? Especially now that she's on the housewives. 
but I recently saw her wearing the Celine version and instantly thought of this one from J. Crew, which is funny since she used to be, you know, she used to work at J. Crew, right? But this is a fabulous dupe, and I believe this one is leather. Speaking of J. Crew and metallic, this gold metallic bag from J. Crew is a good option, and also these gold ballet flats that can go together if you really wanted them to. So listen, this fall is vastly different than what we saw last fall and what we saw um, coming out of a pandemic. Fashion is very much determined um, about the state of the world. And since we have calmed down in this pandemic and things are getting really back to normal, it really seems like it's a return to normalcy when at, whereas when we were coming out of the pandemic everybody wanted to wear everything sparkly and 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 shiny and over the top so we shall see are you sticking to your post pandemic trends and your post pandemic uh vibes or are you slowly moving on to a more tailored um clean lines and a little bit of sparkly with the metallic kind of vibe let me know Anyway, you guys, that's it. There is actually so much more to cover. And if I have the time, I will do a part two to this. But this, I feel like is a fantastic jumping point. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.